I stopped by an old LCS that I haven't visited in a minute, and I found a whole bunch of low budget Kang spec that I picked up. Stay tuned to see what I got. What's good, Speculation Nation? Empire Comics here. I'm back with a new video. It's Tuesday, August 3rd, 2021, and I was running around doing some errands, and I noticed I was in the area of an old LCS that I haven't visited in a minute, so I decided to stop in and dig through their back issues for a little bit. I was there maybe 30 minutes, and in the little bit of time I was there, I found all this. I wanna say 98% of these books were like $2. But first, if you like hunting for low-budget keys, weekly kind book calls, CGC unboxings, and new comic book day spec buys, then click subscribe, smash that like button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. All right, let's get into the books. The first one I have is New Mutants 87, the second printing. It's the first appearance of Cable. I don't think it hurts to own a copy of that one. And then I have New Mutants 88 with the second appearance of Cable. All right, and this one was a favorite of mine growing up. It's New Mutants 93 with the classic Rob Liefeld Wolverine versus Cable on the cover. Got two of those. And then I have Marvel Comics Presents 86 with the first appearance of Cyber. He is a mutant that was in the Weapon X program. All right, now this is all the cane spec that I picked up. I'm telling you guys, they're all out. I'm telling you guys, it's, I'm telling you guys, you can find all these out there for a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. I keep finding them. Look at all the ones I found today. And I didn't even have a chance to take my time through the store. I just was in and out. I've been low-key stocking up on Kang specs since they first announced Jonathan Major that's Kang, but I've been revving up ever since Loki. I'm not even joking. You see that pile right there? That's a whole bunch of Kang that I've been picking up the last three or four weeks. Look, Kang right here. I'm telling you, fuck around, I ain't playing. All right, now we have Avengers Volume 3, Issue 41, with the first appearance of the Scarlet Centurion, Marcus Kang. I was able to get two of those. This kicks off the story arc with Kang working with Marcus, Scarlet Centurion, battling the Avengers. And I have issue 42. You can see kind of Kang on the cover there, which continues the story arc. Got two of those. It's $2 right there. I don't know if y'all can see on the cover. These were $2. All right, issue 43, continuing the story arc. And then we got issue 54 with a badass Kang cover. This has the apparent death of the Scarlet Centurion, Marcus Kang. I got two of those. All right, if you watched my previous videos, you already know I got a few copies of this one. Avengers 293 with the first appearance of Renoa Renslayer as Kang or Kang Nebula. And this continues the whole story arc right here with her on the cover. You wanna get a closer look. able to get two of those and gotta change the bag for that there we go and then avengers 297 with the conclusion of the cross kang saga with kang nebula right there on the cover got two of those all right next we have avengers issue 300 with uh cap returning to the avengers as the captain thor also returns to the avengers uh, they battled out with Kang and the Silent Ones. I believe there's also another Kang from another reality in this one. All right, and the next one is Fantastic Four 319 with the origin of the Beyonder. I was able to grab two of those for $2. Then we got Avengers 328 with the origin of Rage. Right there. He was a pretty cool 90s character. Then this one right here, Avengers Volume 3, Issue 3. It was just a cover by, I thought it was a pretty cool cover of Wonder Man. And then The Witch is Back, Uncanny Avengers, Issue 26, with Scarlet Witch and Rogue on the cover there. All right, and the last one is one I had when I was a kid, The Secret Defenders, Issue 1. I thought it was a pretty cool cover growing up. Um, it's not the first appearance of the Secret Defenders. Their first appearance was in Doctor Strange issue 50 and 93. All right, guys, so that's all the books I picked up today. Thanks for sticking to the end. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about the books in this haul. And let me know if you want me to do a video with all the canned books I picked up in the last few weeks. They were all between two to five dollars and I'm sure you guys can pick them up out there for the same price. All right, y'all, keep hunting. I'm out.